Hello, hello, people. Welcome back to the More Now podcast. I am back uh, from the football match. Well, yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago for you guys, but it's been a couple of weeks for us as well. So um, today, Rob is not here. So we've got me, Dan, and Jake. Say hi, lads. Hi. So that's always good. Um, we've got a couple of things to talk about. So should we just get straight? More on that section. So the first one on here is hats. Hats. Hat. Um, As in the thing you put on your head. Yeah, it's. You just put it like um, it's a kids program. Yeah, well, you know. Don't wear your baseball caps backwards. Yeah, I don't understand why people do that. That was a very stupid. They designed to be worn at the front. Yeah, I mean. I mean, to be fair, if you think about it, though, is that it is some, like, I think that's kind of going out of trend. I think that was very in trend in the 2000s. It was a shit trend. It was. I'd say late 90s as well. Yeah, but... I mean, late 90s and through the 2000s. It was a really weird thing, though. Like, why would you wear your hat backwards? Because the whole point of a hat is to generally... Well, I'm talking baseball cap here. Baseball caps are generally designed to, you know... Protect your face from the sun and getting sunburn. So wearing it backwards, you don't really need to because a you've got hair to protect your back of your neck. So you don't need to wear it backwards. You don't look cool. You just look like a mentally ill person. Mm. Stupid. So I mean, what other type of hats are there, lads? There's like that's really it. That's mainly it, really, isn't it? Maybe designers hats. Which, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. It will come up. Trust me. Is that Mr. Bingle on Sports Day? <laughs> yeah, those half tennis hats. The one where it's like... Yeah, them. Yeah, one of the tennis visor there things. Are, like, it doesn't cover the top of you. There are beanies as well. Oh, yeah, beanies. No one wears a beanie nowadays. If you wear a beanie, you're weird. Um, but, yeah, no, those weird tennis hats are just... Like, I don't understand them because they're still see-through, so you can still see through them. So there's no shadow being cast on your face. I mean, yeah, there's a special kind of thing to protect your eyes from the sun and all that. But if you're gonna get a, a hat, just go for a standard baseball cap. It's the easiest one to do. So, what would we rate hats overall, though, lads? What would we rate? Them? I would say not. Yeah, I'd yeah, say, I'd say not. But I mean, it really depends on what kind you're going for. It is. Yeah, and the use for it. Because if you're going for a standard baseball cap to, you know, protect against the sun and the UV rays and getting sunburn, fair enough. But if you're just going for a hat to look allegedly cool, then you're a moron and you just do not deserve to own a hat. Anyway, uh, the second one on there is acrylic glass cups. So like, if, if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's like, it's, it's stronger than regular glass. So if you drop it, it might not smash, but it's still fragile. Like you shouldn't drop it, but if you do, it won't shatter into a million pieces. Oh, well then. Yeah, it's like um, fake glass. They use it a lot in um, like sports stadiums, especially like ice hockey and hockey. But so if I could, would something like acrylic glass be used for like glass props in movies or TV that makes me broken? No, that's candy glass. That's made out of sugar. Well, it used to be made out of sugar. Okay. I don't know whether it still is. If anyone wants to look into that, they can. Um, but yeah, for to my knowledge, it's mainly candy glass because if you fall on it, it doesn't hurt because it's sugar and it doesn't and it shatters. It shatters easily into many tiny pieces that aren't sharp compared to glass where it shatters into not as many pieces but very sharp but acrylic glass does shatter but it doesn't go into several hundred million pieces oh right it's slightly stronger than glass but it's it's the strongest kind of cup you can get basically oh well there's a chance of cutting yourself yes yeah I'll say not yeah say not good idea the only reason I put that in there, it's purely because I know someone who recently got them, um, a 
and they were wondering, like, what is the actual point? So if they're listening, that's what they're useful for, you muppet. Anyway, um, right, the next one we got is toast first thing in the morning. So yeah, toast okay. for breakfast. I'm going to say I like a lot of breakfast foods. It does taste quite nice. But I'm not really the kind of person that enjoys eating, like, right when I wake up. But, yeah. Like, honest, like, not a full-on meal. Like, if I'm having a cup of tea in the morning, sometimes I'll have a Kit Kat or Ritter Wix with it. But I'm not really one to just... Mostly because I'm normally having a tea with it, so it just kind of helps it. Hold on, you're having chocolate first thing in the morning? Jeez. You lot are wrong -uns. If you eat chocolate before you've had lunch, you're weird. Like, unless it's a, like, a dire situation on your, or you're on holiday or something, if you're just around your house and you're eating chocolate before lunch or sweets, you're weird. That might just be me, but I've never eaten chocolate, crisps, sweets, anything before lunch. Oh, to be like crisps and all that, I don't really do, unless, I'm at, unless there's absolutely nothing else. I mean, yeah. If there's nothing else, then maybe, but if not, I'll just go and buy an apple or something. Besides, like, nowadays, we normally have, like, the little, we have the single-finger Twixes and the two-finger Kit Kats in our biscuit cupboard. Oh, so sometimes oh. I just grab one of them if I'm having a cup of tea. First thing in the morning, though, that's just wrong. Yeah, that's a bit. That's wrong. It must. It's but, me. Are you really surprised? You're not wrong, man. But anyway, toast first thing in the morning. Not Kit Kats, not chocolate, not sweets, whatever. Toast. It can be whatever kind of toast you want. You yeah, like, I'm not a fan of having a full-on, like, breakfast meal first thing in the morning. Wow. So, it doesn't give you much energy, toast. No, the only thing is, when someone says toast for breakfast, I either think standard butter, which is good, depending on how you cook it, and also, I think of full English breakfast. So, beans, sausage, egg, bacon, <laughs> um, and toast. So... I'd go not moronic, personally, purely because I have toast most mornings. Yeah, it doesn't give you much energy, but it is still good food. Um, if you have it with um, just butter, then, again, depending on how you cook it, it can either be good or bad. But toast is very specific. Like, you've got to, you can't undercook it, but you can't overcook it. You've got to get it just right. So what do you think, lad? Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, no, no, I'm yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this time. Like, having a full-on breakfast like, right when I wake up. Normally a cup of tea just suffices. Wow. You should have toast with something. Scrap yeah. egg and toast is right, but toast on its own isn't yeah. it? Toast by itself, uh, that's, that's I would not, not recommend. Toast with that's something. That's not going to last. So egg, bacon, even put it in a toasted sandwich. Have like an egg toasted sandwich or something. Or eggy bread. If yeah. no one knows what eggy bread is, it's basically just whipped egg covered in, or toast covered in whipped up egg. It, you can Google it, it's not hard to find. You can probably search up recipes if you really want to try it. But I'd go not more on it for toast in the morning. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the night. I'd say more on egg. Dan? Yeah, I'd say more on this one. Wow. Okay. Plain toast. Yeah, plain toast, fair enough. So, you know what, I'm going to go for moronic for plain for plain toast, but toast with something is is not moronic. Yeah, yeah true. So, so next one. Right, the next one is perfume. Not aftershave, perfume. I would say not moronic, but after the amount of shit I've had to put up with from secondary school and all the girls like just spraying it like their life depends on it. No. Oh my god, the amount the amount of times I inhaled just copious amounts of crappy perfume from what smelt like Poundland. Do not do it. No. But like, like, genuinely the the stench the the large mix of it from Provides gives how I smell coming back from my first shift at Lush yesterday a run for its money. Wow. Um, but yeah, but no, I, genuinely, I, I didn't even stink of like any product. I just stunk about the powder of everything. 
Fair enough. But yeah, no, perfume, it depends on how much, it depends how much and it depends when. If you're wearing copious amounts every day, you're an idiot. If you're going to put on a little bit just to go with a nice outfit if you're going out. Exactly. Yeah. If you're putting on just like a couple sprays because you're going out with, I don't know, the girls or whatever, you're going to a nice meal, it, whatever it is. If it's going with something nice and you're going out somewhere, fair enough. If you're putting it on every single day and stupid amounts of it, you're an idiot. You're, you're also an idiot if you're going to keep topping it up every day. Yes. Like, you spray it once and then just leave it where you keep where you keep every other thing that you put your perfume with and then go. If it goes throughout the entire day or if it just ends up fading during the day, you look, you learn, maybe I should put just a little bit more on if I wanted to keep. You don't bring the boss with you and spray it on you every opportunity you get. Yep, pretty much. Dan? Yeah, kind of what you all said, really. Just don't overdo it. Cause yeah, don't overdo it. Yeah. You just need to find the right amount. Not too little, not too much. Yeah. Right, the last one on here is the word idiots. <laughs> good, good word. I don't know. Good right away, mate. Bear in mind, I get these from emails or Instagram um, messages. By the way, you can send them in. Our, um, our ways of contacting us are on screen now, so feel free to contact us with your suggestions of the more in the comment section. Message me, because I barely get any DMs. Yeah, same. But anyway, so um, the word idiot. How do we feel? Not moral, yeah, it's oh, it's a it's a word. applicable in every single context. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Was it is a better word. That's why I started to use wasn't. What? Was it? Oh right, was it a basement word for to be honest? I've start, I've started using more on a lot more often. Yeah. Brand in the podcast. Let's go. I've watched oh, basically no one I say it who knows what this podcast is. Oh come on. I've spread the word. Come yeah. on. If anyone I've thinks watched. their friends would enjoy the podcast, spread it around to your friends and family. They might enjoy it. You never know. Yeah. I've watched too much Takeshi's Castle. I've started using Wasn't. Oh, Gary, um, that show is ridiculous. Really? Yeah. Well, I love Takeshi's Castle. <laughs> okay. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, but it's just a fantastic, it's just fantastic to watch and you just oh, kind of want to rock your yeah. brain for about 10 minutes. I found a winner the other day. Oh, go on. And uh, some, there was a fam. It was a was it a mother slash father son slash daughter special. Okay. They take the, it's onto the show as well. I know one of them actually won it. The first one. Wow. Um. So how do we? Yeah, um. My vote is not. Yeah, I'd I'd go uh I'd go not. Jake. Not moronic at all. Good. Actually, speaking of the word idiot and moron, I actually found out a little fact the other day that turns out uh, the lowest possible, um, it's basically, idiot is the lowest possible thing you can call someone. Because that means their IQ is, is between 26 and 50 IQ points. <coughs> Jake, what's your IQ? I don't actually know. Let me look up the average male. Hold on. Average uh, male. I'm just going to say 18 year old IQ. What's just that 8 IQ? Hold on. Uh, okay, right. So adults between 18 and 19, the average of the average is 105. 105. Yeah, so the average the average male's IQ of our age is 105. I'm still 17. It doesn't matter. Close enough. 105 to me, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say um, take about 25% away from that and you've probably got mine. Wow. I think the, the, the average I've heard is between 80 and 100. I mean, that's what it says. 
That's what is that's what Google says. It's probably wrong, but you never quite uh, know. So yeah, basically, idiot is the lowest possible thing you can call someone because it means their IQ is between twenty six and fifty. However, moron is one higher with fifty one to seventy. Imagine having an IQ of twenty six. If you honestly, if you have an IQ Imagine. lower than twenty six, you are not functioning. You're not. It can't be human. No, you literally cannot be functioning at a normal human rate. Unless you are, you know, like a baby at that point. You are essentially a baby. Oh, I mean, You're like preschool. Imagine a baby doing an IQ. I mean, it wouldn't speak, it probably wouldn't speak the language because babies can't talk or read or write. So, you know. But yeah, moron is between 51 and 70, but idiot is between um, 26 and 50. So, and there's nothing below, I mean, there's nothing below 25. Anything below 25, I don't think it's, I don't think it's classed as anything. I think it, assu- I oh, think it just assumes you're a child at that point. That's what I'm guessing. But little fun fact for you. Um, so actually, I recently found out that a lot of companies are now creating orange flavored chocolates. So basically carrying on oh, yeah. chocolate, what Terry's chocolate orange did. Because, yeah. I mean, think about it. The, like, uh, at the start, it was just Terry's chocolate orange and then Aero did it a couple of years ago as like a temporary little, um, as like a temporary kind of one to put out there for like a month or however long it was. And then it comes back every now and then. But recently I found that Yorkie are starting to do it. Like I've got one here. It's not bad, probably because it's the exact same stuff in a Terry chocolate orange. For me, like I'm... I actually kind of like all this, mostly because, like, as great as Terry's chocolate orange is, it's nice to see, like, to see what this tastes like with different companies' chocolates. Yeah. So, yes, you have the main experience from Terry's chocolate orange, but I, but I like to see how it tastes, say, with Cadbury chocolate, or I'd say Nestle chocolate, but Nestle uh, as a company are quite shit. Lovely. We're not getting into that. <laughs> not again. So, yeah, to see other companies kind of branching out and doing other things that other companies have tried is good and bad. I mean, it can it can succeed, it can go horribly wrong. Just like most things, to be honest. One quick thing, apparently there's no one in the world of an IQ of zero. Yep. Yep. I mean, fetuses, feti, feti, fetuses. Corpses and corpses. So basically, the non-living. But they don't. They don't show people with the lowest IQ. No, of course they wouldn't. That would be very, very rude. If they did. <laughs> Imagine just going on Google, finding out you have the lowest IQ in human history. <laughs> Is this some man banned from having sex? Uh, that's assuming they have. Yeah, yeah. That's assuming their IQ is high enough to let them. Use Google. Um, a man was banned from having sex. <laughs> he was banned from having sex and he has 48 IQ. Oh banned. my god, imagine being banned from sex because your IQ is too low. Oh my god. <laughs> that would. That... Too low to comprehend the health risks. Oh my god. Where was this? Is this in America or in the UK? <laughs> it doesn't say. It wouldn't be surprised if it was Florida, to be honest. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if it's America. No offence, Americans, but also some offence. It's 41. Oh, God. Imagine having 48 IQ at the, full, at the age of 41. You identify as Alan. Oh, identify. So if your name's Alan, you could be the most stupid man in the world. Sorry, any Alan's out there. 
Alan's a weird name, though, isn't it? Alan. Uh, Alan. 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 It's a bit weird. Could just be me, but Alan. It's always been a bit weird to me. No? Yeah. But not mentioning any names, but Alan, Alan is a weird name. So, actually, one other thing, lads. I actually want to know this. And viewers, let us know down in the comments or via Instagram or by email. Doesn't really matter. But let us know. How, like, does everything need a price limit? Price limit? Yeah. So, like, how much would you have to be paid to do something absolutely stupid? So, like, if I said, oh, I'll give you one million to go, I don't know, rob this old woman. Like, does everything stupid need a price? Um, because... I don't know if you the same. And plus, at the same time, who is to say the robbery goes wrong? And not only do you not get the money, you also get caught. Yeah, exactly. Like, even, like, take out the illegal side of things. Like, if you do, like, how much would you have to be paid to, like, in, say, in, like, I don't know, senior school, when you're going, oh, how odds on you asking her out or whatever. Like, how much would you have to be paid to do something stupid like that? Only a bitch. Like, that's the thing, does everything really need a price though? Like some things do. Yeah, if, we're, like, good if, we're talking about second, if we're talking about secondary here, it would have to be a good 50 minimum. I mean, yeah. Cash up front no, before we even do it. It depends what it is. Give you a, a if it, so like, if it's something illegal, you're gonna, you're probably either gonna say no or say a stupid amount of money. So like, I don't know, oh, I'll take, I don't know, 60 million to rob, I don't know, the corner shop. <laughs> yeah, if you rob a corner shop, get a life. Or a pet. And don't steal it. And rob the card shop. Rob the card shop. <laughs> oh, God. What's funny is news, everyone. Don't do that. <laughs> we do not advocate stealing of any kind, nor illegal activities. <laughs> God, imagine being uh, pathetic enough to rob a card shop. Honestly, I'm putting a disclaimer at the start of this. We do not advocate any any kind of illegal activities at all. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear God. We're having too much fun with this. So you know what, lads? Should we just get on with a tier list? Yeah. This is yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Right then, so today, what we have is, we have UK crisps. We've got UK crisps today, lads. So, let me pull it up real quick. Do, 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 do. And then let me share my screen. Viewers, uh, I will put a final one of this at the end. I will put... So when the tier list is done, I'll put an image of it on screen so all you guys can see it. Um, just so that way you know what we've actually said and you can see it for yourself. Uh, if there's any changes to this tier list, don't forget to contact us and let us know. But only if they're minor changes. Don't do it if there's like, oh, I'd switch one from amazing to good. Make it, make it a significant change. But anyway, so the tiers we got today, lads, are amazing, good, okay, I'd rather not, and bin them. So, yeah. these are the ones we've got. Viewers, uh, I'll run through all these, both as we're going through and at the end. You'll be able to see it at the end too. So... I'm going to be... I'm just going to get this out of the way right now. All right. Everything that's just like the standard walkers, put them in, I'd rather not. Wow. So, Jay's going anti-Britain here. Jay's going very unpatriotic. No, no I, I like walkers in general, but they're just... Generics are standard walkers. Oh, generic. They're just not very good in my opinion. Yeah, Jake is very generic. I, feel like the, I, feel like, I genuinely feel like the crisps themselves, yeah, but the quality goes down like lower and lower every passing year. No. No, 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 no. 
the amount of flavour goes up every year. Trust me. Um, but the flavour's lovely. But I hate how I'm talking about the actual crisp itself. Uh, right. To start it off, we got prawn cocktail walkers. Oh hell no! Oh, shut up, Jake. You're basic. Oh, prawn cocktail. I love prawn cocktail. Ja- Jake is a very they're basic amazing. human being for viewers. They're amazing. Like, they're amazing. Yeah, they are. They are amazing. So, Jake, Jake, where would you put them? Right. Okay, Jake puts them in the bin. Two say amazing, therefore they're going in good because it's yeah. He's just gonna put all of them in the bin. Yeah, Jake will. So right, roast chicken walkers. But you've been around in recent years, actually. Well. I'm kind of gutted about this. They haven't been used in recent years. It's a bit, like, these ones were actually pretty decent. To be fair. Yeah, these ones were goaded back in the day. I can't find them anymore. If anyone knows where to find them, please contact me. I, I want to know and where they are. I do. I do say pretty good, but because it was very hard to find. Yeah, I mean, if anyone knows the where they are, is. contact me. I need to find these and eat them. They are so the good. Flavor. Uh, roast chicken. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I'd put they're them. They're not my favourite, but like they are. They are. I would say they're good. Okay, Jake. Um, I really like these ones. I'd say good. Okay, we'll put them in good there. Yeah. So, right, next up, we have Ready Salted Walkers. They're okay. They're okay. They're mid. Yeah, I'd say they're just okay. They're nothing too special. Um, I mean, yeah. It's, it's they do the job if you, want, like, if you want something crispy and salty, they do the job. I mean, if, if someone says, oh, you want a bag of crisps, they're, they're one of my lower options, but I'd still eat them. If it's like, oh, we only got ready to eat it, it's like, yeah, all right, I'll still have some. I do appreciate the fact that they are just generic enough so that you can literally just pour them into a bowl for like a party and then no one complains. Yeah, exactly. They're like, they're they still... are literally party food. To me, they are party food. Yeah. It's this and skips. Ready salted. Ready salted specifically are the party, partiest flavour. Yeah, they are, they are just standard party food. Bear in mind, I haven't been to a proper party since like, Year six, when you invite the entire class because your parents organise it. But anyway, next up, salt and vinegar walkers. Oh, amazing! Yep. Uh, yep. I can. I'm not. I don't hate salt and vinegar, but it's not personal. Just generic walker salt and vinegar are my cup of tea. There are some salt and vinegar crisps that I do like. It's not the standard walkers ones. Okay, so where are we putting it? I'd rather not. I'd I'd probably put it in good. Yeah. Alright, we'll put it we'll put it in we'll put it in good. Right, next up we have smoky bacon walkers. I'm gonna say right now, Binham. I dislike these with a burning passion. I think they're okay. I'm not keen on them either. Uh, I had them once, they were foul. That could have just been a bad could have been a bad batch. But, no. Uh-huh, the bad batch. Yep, I know. I did put that in there for any Star Wars fans. I doubt there are any, but if there are, little, little uh, bad batch reference there. But I'd probably say I'd rather not. I wouldn't put them in the bin, because I haven't tried them since, and I was like six, maybe seven. But I'd, I'd probably put them in I'd rather not. No? Yeah, I'd rather not. Dan? I'll say they're okay. I think they're alright, actually. Alright, we'll put, we'll put them in I'd rather not, because it's... Yeah. Okay, cheese and onion walkers. No, I'd rather not. I like them. Okay. Jake? Yeah, I'd rather not. I, I'd put them in okay, if not good. I, oh, like, God. it's the thing, these ones are hit and miss, because there's some in the box, because there's some in the pack that get very little flavour. But then there's some that get so like too much. Yeah, but, but even with that, there are so many there are so many better cheese and onion crisps that have more flavour in general. I actually don't think there is. I think they're the most flavourful ones. I like, no, I think the walkers baked do it best. But to be fair, I actually have had a cheese and onion sandwich and it 
take these taste the most like it. These taste the most like cheese and onion. Oh, actually, on the topic of that, are you? Is anyone here like the type of person that puts crisps in the sandwich? I did that one no. and it's goated. Cheese and onion crisp sandwich, goated. It's a bit for, again for me. Depending on what crisps you put in, but it also depends on what black sandwich you're having. If it's just standard white bread, butter, cheese and onion crisps, goated. No, well, even then, like if you were to put a bun, like say for example, you put in like a very salad heavy sandwich, like the, the crisps add a bit of crunch and a bit more flavour. I mean, I I really like cheese and onion. In case you hadn't noticed, I really like. I put them in good. I put them in amazing, but I still put them in good. So I actually, yeah, I put them in good. Alright, we'll put them in okay. Okay, you get some. You get some that are not that great, but then you get some that are actually pretty decent. Exactly. Like, you've got to find the, the equilibrium of that, but, you know. Right. Next up, we've got Monster Munch Pickled Onion. Oh, they're all right. They're good, man. Yeah, they're good, except they make your breath stink. That's the only issue I have with them. Yeah. Like, if you, if, like, if you're not going anywhere for three days... Brush your teeth after. Yeah, you could brush your teeth after and have at least two mints. But I think, but I I'd probably put them in good, if not okay. Yeah, so okay. I I'd probably put yeah. them in okay just for the fact that they make your breath absolutely stink. Right, next up, uh, Monster Munch, uh, roast beef. I think they're called roast beef. The beef ones, I'm the yellow. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of Monster Munch in general. Okay. Uh, I'd probably put these in. I'd rather not. They're a bit lower than pickled onion, but they're still good. Oh, yeah, I agree. No, I'd still eat them. 100 like, I'd eat them if someone said, oh, they're the only ones we've got left. But it's like, I'd rather pick the other ones. Right. Monster Munch, uh, Flaming Hot. Oh, God, no, I've been under. Yeah, Mon what do you want Monster Munch on? Uh, no, Monster Munch, Flaming Hot. Monster Munch, Hall, Munch oh, I'd rather amazing. not. They are amazing. They are really good. So I, I'd probably put these in okay. Maybe good. Probably good, actually. I'd probably put them in good, actually. So anyone care to argue against me? Yeah, I'll, let, I'll let you have it. No, I think, I think I'll, I'll, you're fine. All right, we'll put them in okay, then. So, yeah. Doritos called original. It's like blue pack. I think you like Doritos. Mm. Yeah, they've gone so down in recent years, haven't they? For me, when it comes to the um, these ones specifically, sometimes you get some that have a decent like sort of flight, and then you get some that are either too weak or too powerful. Yeah, I mean, they're again, it's like the ready sorted um, walkers. They're very just classic. Like, oh, we've got people coming over. Chuck them out in a bowl with some salsa. Or, dip. or, if, or if you're someone who um, likes football too much and was probably part of the aftermath of the Euros, oh. you know, pull them in when you're having everyone, pour them into a bowl when you have everyone around and you've had a couple of Stellas. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, it's a classic, like, we're having people over kind of, kind of packet. So I'd put them probably in okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Next up, we got Doritos Tangy Cheese, and I'm going to say straight away, um, Binum. 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 It's right. Binum. It's time to go in the bin. Oh yeah. And if anyone has the rip-offs from Audi, you're wrong. What's the rip-off? Yeah, it's shit Rios. Don't forget. Shit Rios. <laughs> What's it called? The rip-off. Oh, I couldn't tell you, Jake. You used to have them every day. Yeah, I actually, the, we haven't been to Audi for years. I can't remember. Hey, Jake went off with shit Ritos. You'll have to see it. <laughs> hey. Audi was actually pretty decent and it saved us money. Shut up. Yeah, but it's <laughs> shit Ritos, so we don't talk about it. Right, anyway. I mean, anyway. The, some, of the names were, some of the names are ridiculous. As if their rip-off version of M&Ms were called Choco Bums. Honestly... They're, they're German. They're trying their best. Anyway, to be, right. to be 
fair though, like even then, they were actually quite nice. They had a bit more of a sort of creamy chocolate. Okay. Right. Chili heat wave Doritos. Oh god. <laughs> no, Jake, no call tortilla chips. Oh god. Just tortilla chips, oh god. <laughs> Dude, this is the most generic name ever. Oh, yeah. Dave's got on the Audi website ready to get some for Jake. I might as well just come and do what I actually know. Um, I, did, I did actually try, when I was out on a date with my now ex, we actually just bought a bunch of crisps to share. I tried those ones again, and they were horrid. What? Should I eat waves? The, um, the tiny cheese, um, Tortilla chips. Oh yeah, fake Ritos, yeah. No, so they were shit. Yeah, why do you think we call them shit Ritos, bro? No, I remember I, they were actually quite pleasant back in like year eight or nine. Cool. And then they just, they must have just screwed them up somewhere. Yeah, also known as they realised they weren't doing too well to so put extra crap in them. Alright, Chili Heat Wave Doritos. I, I like these. I'd probably put them in okay if you guys are all right with that. I put them higher personally, but we got, where would we put them overall? Uh, I'd rather not. Dan? Uh, no. In. Wow. Okay, we'll put them in. I'd rather not. Right. Uh, next up, we've got. Pringles Texas Barbecue. Texas. Texas uh, Barbecue flavored uh, Pringles. Uh, they're, Christ, no, they're, okay. Okay. they're okay, you just can't have too many of them. I don't have them before. I mean, they're all right. You just can't have more than about 10 before it just gets rank. Yeah. How do you know, Dan? You've never had them. You just said you've never had them. Yeah, but... Uh, Alright, Jake? I don't know, I'm just gonna go with you, so... Yeah, I'd rather not. They're yeah, not bad, but they're yeah. not my first choice. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, sour cream and onion Pringles. Oh, well, I love these. I've... I've gone off them in recent years, because they, yeah, they do make your breath... You, they do make your breath absolutely stink. I, I, I have... I've loved them for years, but I can... I can definitely taste a bit more than just sour cream and onion in them, if you know what I mean. No, we don't. Um, chemicals. Oh, I love chemicals. What kind? Chemicals. What kind of chemicals? Chlorine. Chlorine gas. I like chlorine <laughs> gas. <laughs> Phosphorus. Phosphorus. We didn't name yeah, any at like this the... point. Phosphoric <laughs> acid. The pre... Um, uh, sour cream and onion Pringles are good, but they get very... Very chemically sometimes. Fair. Uh, really young. Alright, well, so where would we put them? I'd probably put them in, I'd rather not. Good, I'd just uh, put them mid. Yeah, I agree with that. Alright, I'd rather not. Right, uh, salt and vinegar Pringles. And I'm going to be honest, I've got a pack of them literally right here next to me. And they're really good. I've been munching on them pretty much all day. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're okay. I think they're... They're one of the few sort of going to get crisps that I can actually kind of like. Dan? I'm going to say you uh, say okay, I guess. Yeah, I'd say they're all right. They're pretty good. Um, I've been munching on them all day, so they're a bit bland. But I will tell you one thing. They've put a lot of salt on one end and not as much on the other. So it's like you bite into one, it's like, these are plain. You bite into the other side and it's like, I'm going to get salt poisoning and die. So that's the thing. Right, next up. Heart attack in a can. <laughs> yeah, literally. I have to get a heart attack 101. Eat about 16 boxes of... Um, I guess they're not really boxes, are they? More cubes. Whatever. Yeah, just don't eat about three boxes. You'll definitely die of salt poisoning. Anyway, um, ready to with hula hoops? Ready to I'm not really keen on hula hoops. Yeah, no, hula hoops don't hit the same as they used to when you're like six. And you put them on your fingers. Yeah. I mean, hard. They still, they still do the trick if you, if you like having a quick lunch because you're going to have some in. They do the quick, they do it, the trick if you want a quick snack. But 
Yeah, they're not the first choice. I put them in. I'd rather not the original ones. They're not. They they don't hit the same as ready sorted walkers. They just don't. I, prefer, I do prefer these to ready sorted walkers, but not by very much. No, these are worse. Dan. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put them in that too. Right. Uh, salt and vinegar. Hola hoops. I haven't had these in a while, actually. So I've had much. them in the past year, I'd say, and they've gone down in salt content. Like, they, they, they're they not so much salt anymore. It's more vinegar. So, make of that as you will, but I'd put them in, I'd rather not, because they've gone down in recent years. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Nice. Right. Cheese and onion. Uh, They're the worst cheese and onion crisp, in my opinion. Yes, these are worse than Walkers, and Walkers are pretty good, to be fair. But these are the worst ones. But at least with at least with Walkers, you actually get... Like, even the song with some of the weakest flavours, it will taste pleasant. Hmm. Like, I don't know what it... There's a distinct taste to the cheese and onion hula hoops that you just... Can't describe until you've tried them yourself. I haven't had these in years, so I actually don't remember what they taste like. From what I vaguely so remember, it, they're they're pretty vile. But like honestly, they taste like someone who had to replicate a cheese and onion flavour from just like an ascent. Okay. Not, not even not even a name or looking at the food or even tasting. Them. Just the scent of both. Okay. That's what they're like. So where are we putting them? Bit them, quite frankly. Dan? Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright. Right. Uh, ready to eat french fries? Oh, do you know, the other day I had a grand kid um, offered to give me a whole pack of them. Oh, really? Just I, was, I was walking home from, it was um, the Friday before I cut from school. All oh, right. It just came up to me. It's like, oh, mate, do you want them? Did you say? I'm not kidding you. Um, honestly, I'm not here. I've not had French fries in a long time. No, I haven't. It's been it's been many many years, to be honest. Yeah. So I I'd probably put them in. I'd rather not, just because I don't remember them. Yeah, just just let's put all yeah. of them in. Yeah, that's a shame. Like, if there are more than. Um, French fries, it just put them all in, I'd rather not. Yeah, they're not that great. Right, salt and vinegar squares. Before we go, uh, the, the, about 10 seconds before that kid asked if he wanted these crisps, there was another kid from another school who was asking me in an alleyway where the nearest BP was. <laughs> where the, the nearest BP was. Oh, lovely. I mean, to be fair, though, that's a fairly common question. Generally, it's more like okay. I don't know really this area. I really don't know this area. So where where's the nearest BP garage or petrol station, or whatever? You mean the alleyway makes it a bit weird. Oh, so he was probably in the area for what about a good ten years of his life. Weird. So squares, salt and vinegar. I know they're technically walkers, but we'll class them as something different. So squares are just it's a square out on the bin. Yeah, they they're not great. I'd probably put them in the bin, if I'm honest. And square up with squares. And those squares squares really they're, they're quite they're quavers that are harder, but the smell isn't actually as nauseous. I'd still I'll put them in the bin. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Yeah. 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 Alright. Yeah. Uh cheese and onion squares. Same again, bin them. Uh, it was squares. Yeah, no. Nah. If you have squares in your lunch, you're a wrong one. It's gonna make fucking Google gone crisp. <laughs> the only time, the only time I've had squares recently, when we got like when we got delivery of our like shopping, and they had literally no other crisps. Oh, they gave you a sub, did they? Oh, not literally. Yeah. Wow. And even then, we tried finding crisps like every other chance. We got all the shops are basically out of them. Wow. Crisp so crisp shortage. Everyone heard it here first. Crisp shortage. So now, in this area. We're currently on hula hoops. 
Well, I'm currently having hula hoops at the moment because well, we can't really get much else. Right, Skips prawn cocktail. I actually didn't know there were more flavours of Skips, so I've only included these ones. I don't know if there are more flavours of these. I just know about prawn cocktail ones. Skips, uh, down to the I'd probably put them in okay, if not good. Yeah, I'd rather not. Okay, Dan? Um, same as you, I've never had a mine. Alright, I'll put them in okay this, this then. This is really all down to you. Alright, uh, salt, salt and vinegar McCoys. I've not had these ones before. Oh, McCoys, I like McCoys. Yeah, they're, they're good. I love, yeah. I love McCoys, but I've not had the um, salt and vinegar ones. What? Mate, you, you don't have McCoys at that point then. You haven't had McCoys if you haven't had bloody salt and vinegar ones. It's not how it works. I'm trying literally every other one. I'm putting these in good. I don't care. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah. All right. Cheese and onion. McCoys. No. I love them. No. They're one of my favourites. No. No. Bin. Bin them. <laughs> Don't even, you know what? Don't even bin them. Don't pick them up at the shop. Don't pay for them. Don't steal them either. Just don't pick them up. Don't pick them up. Yeah, just don't. All right. That's uh, a massive case. They should be in hard work or not. Yeah. So, last one on here that we've got. If we are missing any, um, oh well. <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. Oh well. Um. Right, last one on here. Really cheesy what tits. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. oh no. It was what tits. Nah, the thing is, they're good, but only during summer. Okay. They're only good during summer. Brush your teeth before and after. Yeah. And, maybe, yeah. Maybe down it into my pack of polos as well, and possibly some mint mentos for good measure. Mate, if you down a whole pack of mentos, Need to down how cheap and tape <laughs> Dan, that'll kill you. <laughs> Two faced is poisonous. If anyone didn't know that, first of all, how? <laughs> Second of all, don't in don't ingest toothpaste. It's not a good idea, it's poisonous. Maybe you might any stop Just a little bit. It's not gonna kill oh, you. Not it's like well, Dan, it's I'll large amounts. Down it's like it's only poisonous if you ingest a lot of it. So like I'm, if, I'm, I'm, yeah. If you if you swallow the toothpaste after you brush your teeth, that that can cause issues. Don't do it. I, I swallowed yeah, I swallowed a small amount of toothpaste two weeks ago. But well, I don't know. It left a really weird yeah tape in my mouth and not even on my mouth, my throat. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do. About an hour. Yeah, don't oh, do not do it. Don't ingest toothpaste. I beg no, you. No, I think very deliberate. Good. Right. What's it? Really cheesy. Where are we putting them? I've got bin. Bin? Really? Yeah, I'm not too keen on them. Alright, we'll put them in I'd rather not. For now. Um, does that conclude the list? It does indeed. So, just for the viewers, we've got nothing in Amazing this week. Wow. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, no, we've got nothing in Amazing. Um, wow. You know what? Just, just for the sake of it, I'm bumping roast chicken up. So, in Amazing, mm. we now have roast chicken walkers. And that's it. In good, we now have prawn cocktail good, walkers have prawn and salt and vinegar walkers and salt and vinegar McCoys. In okay, we have ready salted walkers, cheese and onion walkers, monster munch pickled onion, monster munch flaming hot, uh, Doritos cool original, salt and vinegar Pringles and prawn cocktail skips. Um, in I'd rather not, we've got smoky bacon walkers, uh, Beef flavored uh, Monster Munch, Doritos Chili Heat Wave, Pringles Texas Barbecue, Pringles Sour Cream, Hula Hoops, um, both original and um, salt and vinegar in French fry, and then we got all of French fries, so that's ready salted cheese and onion and um, salt and vinegar. And what's it's really cheesy. And then in Binham, we've got Tangy cheese, Doritos, hula hoops, um, cheese and onion, squares, both uh, salt and vinegar and cheese and onion, and then cheese and onion McCoys. And that's that. 
Um, if you guys have any suggestions for the tier list, uh, do send them to us. Uh, we're not running low, but we are running um, kind of low. We don't have too many left in stock. So, um, uh, how, many, how many do we have in stock? Uh, we've got about six. Oh, we're fine. But they do go down fairly quick. So, if you guys have any suggestions, do let us know in the comments, by Instagram, by email, whatever it is. Just let us know. And we will, um, if we don't already have them, we'll do them eventually. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, do let us know about that. But one last thing, actually, lads. Mm -hmm. What do we think? This is another Moronic or Not section thing. I'm just going to add it in here now, because why not? What do we think about, like, uh, national holidays? Mm. I'm not talking bank okay. holidays. I'm talking national holidays. So I'm talking Easter, oh, Christmas, okay. Halloween. Um, in America, you've got Thanksgiving for some reason. Um, so what do we think about? Mm. I think they're good. Oh, I, yeah, I quite like them. Nothing against. Yeah, I've got nothing against them. It depends on what one it is. Yeah. I, no. I like Halloween. I really like Halloween. Um, yes, Halloween is just one of those things that I like, but it's not something I tend to celebrate like all out. Yeah, Jake, that's the only reason you like it is because you get to stuff your face with sweets. Which to be fair. That is the one time I can actually like. um, Yeah. Everyone does like that to be fair. So I'd go I'd go not moronic, but that's just me. You know, if anyone's actually listening this far in, first of all, thank you for listening this far in. Thank you for getting Second this of all, in. Second of all, apologies for the fact you've come this far. Yes. No, we don't offer therapy. Yeah, no. Um, so, recently, viewers, we've uh, been discussing on the More An Hour podcast team uh, how often we sh this should keep going. So what we're going to do is we've all come to the agreement in the... We're going to upload these whenever we can and or want. So it won't be a regular schedule. There won't be like every week or every month or every year. It will just be kind of whenever we fancy it. So there could be three in there could be three in a month and not again for a year. We'll try and space them out as best we can. Um, but we can't promise anything. What we're going to try and do is we're probably going to stockpile some episodes and just release them over time. But as of right now, it's just kind of do it when we want because we've all got some stuff going on uh, with life, essentially. So yeah. we want to thank you all for listening. Um, thank you if you have gotten this far. Thank you for listening this far in. Um, we do appreciate it. Please hit the like button. Um, do subscribe. Do follow us on Instagram. Do contact us. We, we we do want to feel appreciated. Send in your yeah. um, send in your applications to come on the podcast. Actually, so there should be a link in the description and in the comments for you to um, be an applicant, or you can apply to become a guest on the podcast. I want to make this abundantly clear: you're only becoming a guest. You're not becoming the more on our part. You're not becoming part of the more on our team. You're just becoming a guest on the podcast. If you want to cancel it. Just fill out the form again, and in the reason, just put cancel, and it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll review your application and then get back to you at some point. That could be weeks, it could be months, we don't know, really know yet. But other than that, thank you all for listening. Do follow us, do hit the subscribe button. It is free at the end of the day, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you have listened this far, I hope. So thank you all for listening, hit the like button, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you in a bit.